Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to turn any page on your Squarespace website into a landing page. Now, a landing page code that we're using today will remove the header and footer from a single page on your website. Now, this is fantastic for something like offering an opt-in or a lead magnet. If the only option a visitor has is to convert, then your conversion rate should increase with this landing page. So I've also seen people use this code to remove branding for a page that's not related to their main business or their main website content. Let's say they have a featured event and they don't want people to get distracted by their blog or other things on their website. So they remove the header and footer so that one page can serve its one purpose. Now I'd like to do a quick code breakdown before I show you how to install it. Now here you'll notice this is something very special for this type of code. We're installing it on one specific page. We're gonna do this with page header code injection, and we're also gonna do this with an on-page code block, so you can see both options. But both of them require what I call style brackets around our main CSS code. These little style brackets send a signal to the browser that, hey, this code you're working with right here, this is going to overwrite the CSS file on your website. So definitely an important thing to pull out there. Now, one other thing I'd like to mention is this code specifically is for Brine templates. If you use a different theme in your Squarespace website, you're going to need a different code because it's not going to use the same text to refer to the header or the footer as this Brine template does. So know your theme family so you can use the right snippet. I have a few options below for Brine and Bedford and Five and Pacific. But if you have no idea what I'm talking about, head on over to insidethesquare.co slash learn CSS. There you can download my free getting started guide and that will give you a bunch of information about what type of code you're going to be using. Okay, so all that stuff is out of the way. Let's get to it, shall we? I'm going to take this code and the first way I'm going to install it is with page header code injection. On my main menu here, I'm going to select pages and then I'm gonna click this little gear icon right here to reach my page settings menu. Now on the very bottom, we have advanced and this is where we add page header code injection. Quick side note, this is available only for business and commerce plans, but if you're on a personal plan, stick around. We've got one more option for how you can still apply this to a single page on your Squarespace website. So I'm gonna paste the code right here. Little pro tip, the header of your page loads in a browser before everything else. So this is definitely the ideal spot to use for placing a CSS code. All right, so I've got my style brackets saying, hey browser, this is a style we're going to be adding and I'm hiding the header and the mobile bar, telling it to display none, so don't display it, and then the footer. You'll also notice I've included the word important after an exclamation point there. This is a signal to the browser that, hey, you need to prioritize this code over any other CSS code that you see. That's a great way to make sure that it's going to work. All right, when we're all done with that, we'll select save, and my page will refresh, and now you'll see that header is gone, and the footer is gone. All that's left is the content on my page. Pretty cool, right? All right, let's take a look at that one other option on how to install this. I'm going to go back into the advanced menu here. Oh, I should do that again. This is how you reach that menu. Select the settings icon on the individual page you want to remove the header and footer from, and then navigate down to advanced, and this is where you're putting that code. So I'm actually gonna remove that so I can show you how to add this in an on-page code block. So we'll see the header is back and the footer down here, that's back as well. All right, so this is great for uh, people that are using the personal plan on Squarespace. You can still apply the code to one page. We're going to select edit and then click that little bubble. And I'm just gonna type in the word code so it'll pull this up in the search for me. Now here in this code block, I'm going to paste the style bracket, header, mobile bar, display none, all the stuff we worked with before and close the style bracket. I'll select apply and save. And you'll see we have the same effect. It's removed it from the individual page. Now again, I do recommend using page header code injection, but if you can't, if you have a personal plan, use an on-page code block. Just make sure you nest it between style brackets and make sure you're using the right code for the right theme, okay? If for some reason this code doesn't work, definitely see if maybe you're using a Bedford template 
or you're using a Pacific template, that theme can make a big difference. So again, that's how you install that on an individual page on your Squarespace website. And uh, yeah, that's it for today's tutorial. Thanks for watching and have fun with your Squarespace website. If you liked this tutorial, be sure to subscribe so you can see a new one every week. And when you're ready for more CSS tips and snippets, check out my CSS cheat sheet. Available now at insidethesquare.co slash CSS.